I spent years chasing the perfect setup. I've tried working from just a laptop to a single 27 inch monitor setup. I've tried the huge 49 inch ultra wide setups and even gone as far as a dual stacked ultra wide setup. The perfect monitor always seemed out of reach and it has left me wondering about what the perfect monitor would actually look like. It would need to offer perfect pixel clarity. It would need to adapt to its surroundings so that eye strain would not occur. It would need to be color accurate so that designs would stand out and video editing would not be an issue. Above all, it would need to transform into a crystal clear window engineered for coding. Well, I think I've finally found it, and it's not just one monitor, it's two. These are the BenQ RD320U and RD280U, two monitors, one story. The 32-inch RD320U takes center as the creative canvas, and the 28-inch RD280U becomes your productivity ally. BenQ have created something unique, and that all begins with the recyclable unboxing experience. Unboxing feels like uncovering a hidden treasure. Every component is intentional. Both monitors come with a very heavy-duty stand that is super easy to assemble. The monitors clip into place and allow you to adjust the height and pivot as you need. It was incredibly smooth, although keep in mind the 280U can only pivot in one direction. I have a solution for this, but more on that soon. Both monitor stands have a leather clip at the back for cable management, which I found really aesthetically pleasing. The RD320U is built for creators. It has a 32-inch 4K IPS UHD screen with a 10-bit color depth and 100% sRGB. But it doesn't stop there. You get 98% P3 wide color gamma, and a 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, which basically means you get inky blacks and cinematic hues. This means that it's super sharp and color accurate when it comes to any design work you may want to throw at it. It has a nano matte panel, which basically makes reflections vanish. I'm running my MacBook Pro with this monitor, and I found the sweet spot for text clarity and image scaling to be at 2560 by 1440 pixels. Now earlier, I mentioned the RD280U only pivots in one direction. That's where BenQ's Ergo monitor arms come in. The included base for each monitor is heavy duty and solid, but they do take up quite a bit of desk space. With the Ergo arms, you get full flexibility. I mean, these arms can support up to 20 kilos and monitors as large as 45 inches. The best part is that they come with an additional base plate to protect your desk surface, so you don't have to worry about damage. And once mounted, they clear up all that desk real estate for a shelf, speakers, or just a cleaner, minimalistic look. It's the kind of upgrade that completely transforms how your setup feels, giving you both flexibility and freedom. What makes this monitor so unique is the function bar. There is a built-in function button which allows you to toggle between display modes. You can customize this to do other actions as well, but the display modes are where this monitor shines. There are various modes to choose from, including this M-Book mode, which basically replicates the colors from the MacBook Pro. This is a stunning display mode for everything you would want to do on your computer, except one thing, and that is coding. This is one area that every monitor struggles with. BenQ have created two new display modes, Coding Dark Theme and Coding Light Theme. When you switch to one of these modes, you can instantly see the difference compared to any other display mode. The text becomes sharper, the colors dim, and the contrast is tweaked in such a way that it makes coding so much more comfortable. Coding on this monitor feels effortless, and with that, it has made me so much more productive. Now let's talk about the RD280U. It's got everything that the 32 inch has, except its size. So it's a unique 28 inch monitor with a three x two aspect ratio. I've been used to this aspect ratio with my reference monitors for years. And from experience, this size is awesome. It gives you more vertical real estate to code, reference docs or design without endless scrolling. It's basically the thoughtful second screen all coders need. Also, it comes with its own function bar. So it has all those modes we mentioned previously with the 32 inch, but in this awesome three x two aspect ratio. BenQ's coding mode has redefined what a screen is capable of. You just activate the function bar at the bottom and code mode wakes up. Beyond that, BenQ's eye care tech delivers low blue light and flicker-free precision, so your eyes finally get to relax. Both monitors come with a customizable moon halo backlight which shines behind the screen. If you're like me and enjoy late night coding, this creates the best ambience. It is stunning. Now, BenQ have also released their DisplayPilot 2 software, so you don't actually need to use the function bar at all. You can access all these settings from within this handy application. Everything you need is centralized. From the desktop app, you can manage moon halo brightness and color, circadian mode to match daylight cycles, and application mode, which auto switches display settings per app. 
like your IDE and browser. This means that if I'm running a split screen with code and a browser, the display will automatically switch modes depending on which app is in focus. You can also use desktop partition to drag windows into preset layouts. So I've been using this setup for a little over a week now, and these monitors have become extensions of my workflow. I spent long sessions editing videos, including this one you're watching right now. I've worked late nights on freelance projects and not once have I felt my eyes strained. Now, a couple of things worth mentioning. The RD320U tops out at 32 inches, which is a fantastic size for most people. But personally, I've been used to working on larger 40 inch and 49 inch ultra wide, and I do miss that extra real estate. This is definitely just a preference, but I'd love to see an even larger model in the future. And while the panel is gorgeous, it's capped at 60 Hertz. My previous monitor could hit 120 Hertz, and that extra refresh rate definitely adds a level of responsiveness that gamers in particular would appreciate. If BenQ were to add higher refresh rates to a productivity focused monitor like this, it could easily blur the line into the gaming space too. With that said, the BenQ RD series are designed with programmers in mind. While it may not be ideal for entertainment purposes, it excels in providing enhanced comfort and focus for long coding sessions. It minimizes strain from prolonged use, whether it's eye fatigue or muscle discomfort. For professionals who prioritize productivity and well-being, this monitor is an excellent choice. I mean, for productivity-focused tasks, 60 Hz is definitely more than enough to get the job done. So, does the perfect monitor exist? I don't think it ever will, because everyone has a different use case. But, in terms of productivity and coding, it's the best I've seen so far. The colors are gorgeous and match with the industry-leading MacBook Pro's display easily making it an awesome design and video editing companion. It comes with all those customizable options with the function bar, including display modes that make coding so much more comfortable. The Moon Halo adds an aesthetic touch to the desk's environment and with the Display Pilot 2, all features that help with eye fatigue can be adjusted. This combination of features makes the RD320U and the RD280U more than just displays. They become companions in your workflow essentially helping you be more productive. If you're building, designing, coding, or just spending long hours in front of a screen, this is the pair I'd recommend. I think BenQ have nailed this lineup, and I can easily say they are the perfect duo for productivity, coding, and creative work. I'll leave links down in the description if you want to check them out. And while you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe, and let me know what you think of these monitors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.